go, Spurs go, Tony Parker. The Parker Hall of Fame game at the Frost Bank Center, retiring number nine. Now that has the words Hall of Fame at the bottom of the banner. Look at that, beautiful. All right, so this ceremony taking place at halftime with the Spurs-Pelicans matchup. It was a 2.30 game, so a little weird. The Spurs looked good early on behind Wemby. Spinning down low, splitting two defenders, easy bucket. Next trip down the floor, Devin Vassell feeding Wemby. Ali oop, jam. Spurs scored the first six points of the game, but the Bells would take the lead for good. 9-8, and they never looked back. Leading the Spurs by as many as 27 points in the third quarter. It was not pretty, except for the big man. He's 7-4. It's hard to miss him. All right, Pelicans, they win 146. Spurs lose 110. San Antonio sitting at 4-21. and and of course, we wanted to hear from head coach Greg Popovich after the game. Well, let's see. That's what you call an <laughs> whooping. Uh, pure and simple, you know, drop the mic, period, full stop, all that kind of stuff. Uh, had a great night shooting. Uh, we couldn't throw it in the ocean. Uh, but on top of shooting well, they played very well. Uh, we, we weren't as sharp as we needed to be. And got whooped real good. Okay. Have a good night. I mean, I have nothing to refute there. So taking a look at what comes next, it's not getting any easier. The Bucks and Giannis, that is oh, one of the toughest matchups in the East at least. Bulls, we see our old friend DeMar DeRozan. And then the Mavericks, yeah, there we go. We got Luka Doncic. So cautious optimism, but again, head coach Greg Popovich said it best. We have to stay positive. Love the optimism. You know who's always optimistic? SA Live. They got rugby recipes, gift ideas, and a new production at a local theater. All today, SA Live, Mike and Fiona helping you with some stocking stuffer ideas, and they're at Historic Market Square. All right, do you want the gift, the gift that keeps on giving the whole year round? This from a Carmel Soap Company. You're going to love this. And Tara Hardiman is here, and these are great Christmas gifts for anybody, and you have a deal for folks watching. I do. SA Live. For 15% off. Mm -hmm. yep. For 15% off. All natural. You can literally put that on toast. Great for any do eczema that. conditions. Yes, okay. indeed. All right. When it comes to Christmas being with the family and all those great traditions, and one of them's in the kitchen. Yes, our Jen Tobias Strusky has a great recipe to share for the Christmas season and a cookbook to tell you about. Another great thing to do with the family is be together, maybe reading books. And Linda Lopez is here from the San Antonio Public Library. Yes, hey, how are you guys? We also have a great discount. It's 100% off if you come to any of our branches. Cuddle up and cozy up with your friends and family with a book or activities at any of our libraries. A lot of books get turned into movies. Favorite Christmas movie? Let us Stand know. Stand code. code. And try it Tuesday. Huh, ran away to try and join the uh, rugby team over there at UTSA. Wow. <laughs> Wait till you see what happens. All that and more when SA Life continues. Why is that so giddy? I don't know. <laughs> It is grassroots journalism. What I've seen was more people with money came in. It's your story told by you. Do I want to walk outside of my house and two blocks later I'm at the best coffee shop in the city? Yes, but at what expense? In our Know My Neighborhood segments, we go from neighborhood to neighborhood to show you the different places that make up our home. We've got uh, history all around us in the houses, uh, in the stories that people tell. In this episode, Dignity Hill and the battle for preservation versus progress. All righty, pollen count not looking great. Mountain cedar is high and molds are low. Hey, at least the forecast calls for a little bit of rain, maybe to hopefully wash out some of that mountain cedar. It's gonna be chilly morning tomorrow, but our last chilly morning of the week ahead, It'll be mild for the remainder of the week and into Christmas, too. Temperatures nearer to 70 degrees. Thank you, Sarah. I wonder if um, your parents still have any pictures of you making gingerbread houses. Oh, I was way old. I didn't even live with them at that point. <laughs> oh. <laughs> have a great day. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. We got Dave kind of upset about that, didn't we? <laughs> yes, hello and happy Tuesday. Look at those unique presents. We have 20 days. Oh, oh my gosh, till Christmas. And some Christmas gift ideas, as you can see, on today's show. Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorostiza, and this is Father Christmas. <laughs> 
<laughs> just had somebody send me an email going, uh -huh. it's December, no shave is over, shave the beer. I'm like, what, have you been talking to my mom? So, yes, But Bonnie likes it, right? Yeah, Bonnie the yeah. boys like it. So I'm so. going to keep it just for a couple of weeks just because the boys want me to grow. Anyway, anyway hi. hi. I am Father <laughs> Christmas. And uh, our first guest today is lathering up the body in natural bath and body products for Christmas. If you want to give a fantastic gift, Look at that. whipped body butter right there. Yes. Okay. And Tara Hartman, executive director of the Carmel Soap Company is here. And this, these products are all natural, right? Handmade from scratch. Our goal is as close to 100% natural as possible. And the reason why you started all this was because you opened up a name brand one time and... I did. And it was supposed to be natural, pure, lavender, all these wonderful things. I opened it and it smelled like an industrial window cleaner. <laughs> Not good. Yeah. So okay. in this whipped body butter, we have these ingredients right here, yes. which are what? Plant oils, mm -hmm. including olive oil, all right. simple all right. pantry stuff, organic co cocoa butter, organic shea butter, and then organic coconut oil. And you mix it all together, it goes into a mixture, mm -hmm. and we get it all whipped up, put a couple of uh, little essential oils in there, mm -hmm. a few drops of each one, and literally, we've been joking that this is the body butter right here, mm -hmm. and we've been saying that you could put this on, on toast. Yes, or, I, promise, I promised the viewers you were gonna eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. So, and then a little bit goes a long way. Sure and does. boy, oh boy, we are. That is a first. I've never eaten something that I then put on my skin. I know. <laughs> All right, oh, so that would soft. continue to get to get whipped up. Mm -hmm. Now, besides the body butter, which again, from head to toe, perfect. Oh God, this is, feel how soft yes, my hands are. I, I know. know. It's this like you haven't wonderful. worked a day in your life. Okay. What are, <laughs> <laughs> you brought, there are some incredibly great Christmas gift ideas, yes. right? So again, everything is handmade from scratch. We do all the things for the body. We have natural, 100% natural deodorant. Mm -hmm. All the moisturizers. We even have what we call Relieve Rub here, which is again 100% natural, and is made to clear, help to clear congestion, helps to address some of those headaches, sore muscles. If you have tears and, and sore muscles and stuff like that, you can rub that on that. This is our alternative to one of the more famous Vapo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, brands. Gotcha. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. And if anybody's watching, you do get a discount. Yes. With the code SA Live, right? SA Live, fifteen percent off for all the viewers. And by the way, a lot of her things are in the Hyatt as well as the Ritz hotels. Yes. Um, and this is one of those great local businesses that you need to really just go the extra little bit to get some of these products as opposed to the big name brand type yes. stuff. Yes, yeah, so you can find us in, in very few spaces. The one is our location on 281. And it's, get off at, at your 281, just yep. this side of 1604. 281 get off at North, Donella. getting off of Donella and almost immediately right into our parking lot. So she's not quite up to the Northwood area, so you gotta yes. really make a special trip, but yep. definitely, this is definitely worth the trip. And customer service, incredibly important to you, right? Incredibly important. This, this company was built on some basics. Excellent customer service being one of them. So when a customer comes to us, especially for the first time, I really wanna know what their goals are, what their challenges are. Um, what are we trying to do? Um, what any of their barriers have been to natural skin care. And then we spend time with them and we help them to cultivate the perfect situation for them. Okay. Uh, now, you also have classes mm -hmm. as far as making some of these different yes. products too, right? Because we make every single thing in our shop and on our website from scratch. So we really want to be able to share that with viewers. And on the website, you can order anything, and then you can just even order and mail from there, too, right? Yep. You can either order online and pick it up in our shop, or we can ship it to you. And there are a couple of those coming up, right, on December 13th and the yep. 16th? We have bath bomb making classes, our holiday soap making class. We even have scrub making classes with the Moms of Stone Oak and one of the local uh, vineyards. So we're going to do a scrub making class at a winery. Oh, yeah. Well, there's the best of both yes. worlds. Yes. 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 <laughs> Relaxation and then some. Yep. Uh, all right, so uh, hours if people want to come by and just kind of browse. Because look at that's I think, some of the first times I've seen the, mm -hmm. the wide pictures yes. inside your store. It's yes. beautiful in there. Yeah, I, we love it. It's a perfect little shop. And we're open from Tuesday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then Saturdays from 10 to 1. And by appointment only almost every other time. Okay. 
And again, if you're doing a little bit of shopping, just you know, bop in there, mm -hmm. and again, you will not be sorry yeah. if you especially get some of this body mm -hmm. butter. That's whipped. The whipped, whipped body butter. butter. Yes. 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 The and there's the website on your screen to order caramelsoap.com. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link, or just scan that QR code on your screen. All right. Well, as we mentioned, we are less than three weeks away from Christmas 20 days <laughs> to be Ooh. exact. Yes. So for our question of the day, we want to know what's your favorite Christmas movie? Just scan that QR code and weigh in. What's yours? Four Christmases. Really? Yes. Okay. Why are you That's pretty good. Okay. Really? really? I okay. Think I it's can... funny. I, it, it I is. don't go really when you no, answer. I just I <laughs> I was surprised at that. It's a Wonderful Life. That kind of goes without saying. But as I we were know. talking about Elf earlier, that has become one of my new favorites. Is my pillow that I gave you last year out that says it's a Wonderful it, Life? It, it is. Okay. It's right there, okay. and the cat likes to kind of curl yes. up next to it. So because the cat says it's a Wonderful <laughs> Life. So, let us know what your favorite Christmas movie is, and we will hopefully show some of those answers a little bit later on. Well, the uh, the little balm that helps out with the muscle aches and everything like yeah. that, I think I need that after doing this uh, the story <laughs> coming up here. Yes, so. yes, this is yeah. why I was giggling earlier. All right, so my famous bearded co-host here joined the UTSA men's rugby team for an intense practice, and I was there for moral support. Take a look. And a laugh. So how do you sum up rugby? So rugby is kind of just like a mixture of soccer and football. Um, it's a long day and we have 40 minute halves, kind of like soccer. And then you get the kind of physical nature of it and the hitting just like football. So it's kind of combining the best of both worlds. But so what are the team positions? So we're broken up kind of into two groups. So we have our forwards and our backs. Um, so the forwards are eight different positions. We're gonna have our two props, one hooker, two locks, loose forwards, and then an eight man. And then the backs, we're gonna go the 10, the two wings, Inside center, outside center, and full back. And the cool thing about rugby is our positions are all by numbers. So that's why we, you'll see 1 through 15 on the field. So basically that number you're wearing is the position you're playing. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Okay. And now even though there are like blockers and backs, anybody can grab the ball and score, right? Yes, sir. Anybody. you into playing rugby? Um, so I was a football player for most of my life and um, I had a friend that was out here playing rugby and he kind of asked me to come out and try it. He said, you look like you'd be a good rugby player. So kind of just got into it. I met Coach Pete and the rest is history. Okay, so a couple of rules. I mean, this looks like a football. It's not a football. Uh, how do you score? What do you, you know, what do you do with the scrums and all that stuff? Yeah, so um, really the only difference in scoring is so Kind of ironic, like the football is a touchdown, but you just got to cross the line. But here in rugby, we have to cross the line and we have to touch the ball down. If we don't touch the ball down, we don't score. So that's kind of, and we call it a try instead of a touchdown. get to have substitutions? Um, same thing as soccer. So the substitutions either have to be blood sub and injury sub. Blood sub, meaning you, oh. you've drawn blood. <laughs> Is he going to try to play today? We're going to have him at hooker today. Oh. the scrums what's that all about so the scrums are usually used to gain possession um, if there's a drop ball or a turnover so we'll have our two scrum halves uh, Dustin's our scrum half um, they're gonna feed in the ball we're gonna engage against each other that ball is gonna roll in and we're gonna try to hook it back and gain possession look good you got that I think so
in, in slow motion. motion. <laughs> thank you, Ted. I appreciate it. Was that you or Stephen that, that yeah, did that? So thank you, Stephen, for that. So, by the way, they mm -hmm. played uh, mm -hmm. Texas uh, UT last Friday and beat them 47 to, to 17. to 17, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to think that that's because of their special practice with you. Yeah, and thank you for going easy on me. Although, did you see how I, when I was scoring and he just it got... Nail out of the way. I mean, just bulldoze through. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You totally were. did. He didn't when slow they, down at all. When they wanted me to uh, to line up to do some of the drills, uh -huh. and the one guy they say, "Yeah, make room for Mike." He goes, "No." He's like, "Oh, yeah, really?" Really? <laughs> so, yeah, yes. he was laughing. So really, it was a funny moment. Yes, there. and you can get tickets to, to their yeah. games. So for more information on the UTSA rugby team, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the ads theme on SA Live tab. Got a whole new respectful. That's a tough, tough sport. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's why they went easy on me. When I say live continues with the San Antonio mother and daughter are sharing favorite family recipes in their fiesta in the kitchen cookbook. Well, Meet Me in St. Louis is a Christmas classic, and this local theater is performing it just in time for Christmas. Chris Rodriguez is executive director, and Sammy Serrano is the outreach specialist at the Wonder Theater, who also plays Esther in the show. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Okay, so it's one of those classics, but for somebody who may not be familiar, tell us all about Meet Me in St. Louis. Well, it's about a family that uh, loves the city that they're in, and they're going to have to move soon, um, unfortunately, and so they're. They're trying to learn how to get through life, how to deal with um, young love and what that comes with, but really it's just about being with family during the holidays. And shows running through? Through December 23rd. Okay, Woodlawn Theater is gonna be moving. Yes, uh, so uh, Baby St. Uh, Louis is at our current location at 1920 Fredericksburg Woodlawn Theater, uh, but we are moving to our new space in 2024. We've had construction going on for about a year, um, and our goal is to start getting there inside the building in January and we'll be opening our 2024 season with Kinky Boots on March 1st. And of course, that's where the old uh, theater was, the Bijou, yes, at Wonderland correct, of the yeah. Americas, right down there. So, so Kinky Boots is then coming up next. Okay, back to Meet Me in St. Louis. What's it like playing Esther? Oh, it's, it's a lot. I have big shoes to fill. Judy Garland played the role in the movie, and obviously she's iconic and amazing. Um, so I, I'm hoping that I can bring some modern aspects to it, but as well as honoring her legacy in that movie. Shows in the future, more musicals? Is it going to be just uh, regular theater? or uh, So we specialize just in musicals. We're okay. cooking up our 2024 season right now. A lot of fun stuff can be coming up, and we'll be making that announcement in uh, early 2024. Okay, well, if you would like to grab your ticket for Meet Me in St. Louis, go to salive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen. And now we get a very special performance from this young lady. You're going <laughs> to love this.
what to read this Christmas season and the activities that kids can enjoy at the San Antonio Public Library for a 100% discount. We'll fill you in. and snuggle up in a warm blanket by the fire. Joining us is Linda Lopez, San Antonio Public Library's Children's Librarian. Yes. Yes. Thank you. All right, so these are all examples of activities that you can do for free at the library yes. with your kids, right? Yes, they vary from branch to branch, library to library. You know, we have 30 different locations. Um, but yeah, everything is free. We have here the snowman, melted snowman that you guys are working on right now. Mm -hmm. We also have a snowflake activity that you use with just cardstock, um, some glue, and Q-tips. We also have Legos, and then, of course, like we mentioned, our books. Now, and all these activities and books are free. Now, are these activities going to be going on over the cold Christmas break? During winter break, yes. Okay. So they will vary from branch to branch. And you can find what activity best suits your friends and family on our website, mysapple.org, M-Y-S-A-P-L dot O-R-G. Which is going to be fantastic because, you know, that two-week span, basically, yes. maybe kids get a little bit antsy, want something different to do and these sure. are perfect little activities yes. nice little getaway of course and you know when we're trying to be creative step out from behind the screen work on our creativity work on our dexterity and do things together with family and friends yes okay. and really helps those fine motor yes, skills right for sure yes okay and then uh besides the the books there's movies and audio as you mentioned yes okay and now we're going to make a snowflake yes Ooh. so we have two examples but you don't have to pigeon your, pigeonhole yourself into what these examples look like. You can decide what you want your snowflake to look like, right? It's all about creativity and figuring it out for yourself on what you want it to look like. That's so pretty. Okay. Oh my I know, I love this idea. And you said a nice little tip when it comes to Q-tips <laughs> when you gotta have to cut yes. them. So Q-tips are a little difficult to cut, and so I used wire cutters. But um, I don't know, you might have some strength in your using your regular old scissors. But if, but if you're doing that at home, you might want to have your grown an adult. Yes, have your grown-up help you do okay. this activity. All okay. right. And the uh, Guerra branch is going to be yes, reopening now? Yes, Guerra. We just opened yesterday. Uh, reopened, rather. And so we are there. All libraries are open Monday and Tuesday from 12 to 8. And then and Wednesday through Sundays from 10 to 6. And we are all over the place in San Antonio. And there are so many programs to yes. choose from when you go to the website that yep. are free that you can take your kids to, right? Yes, of course. Even and teens? Yes. Teens, we have children's programs, teens program, and adult programming. So there's something for everybody. And the greatest thing, I think, is the homework <laughs> Yes, we section. do have, we offer online homework help, and you can find that on our website as well, and it's free. Yep. So, I mean, for the most complicated questions, the new math, as we always joke about, but, <laughs> but seriously, I mean, sometimes when you get up, you know, the high schoolers, right. The adults have no idea mm -hmm. what's going on, and you have the experts that can help yes, them out, right? Yes, there is somebody that is out there to help you. And if we can't find it at our branch, there's a different branch that might help you as well. And of course, a popular activity that we see every time they show up here on the SA Live set, because people can't resist, are Legos. Yes. Yay. And they are throughout all the system. We have different days, times, and branches where you can go participate in the Lego Club. And this is just open to anybody and you just want to build yep. and you can just grab a, a whole bunch yes. that's not a kit or anything like that Correct. and just get creative, right? Yep, and we just share. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And with the programs, there are even some bilingual Yes, programs, right? we do have some story times that are bilingual, Spanish. Um, you just have to look on our website, like you mentioned. Okay. okay. Well, for more information on the San Antonio Public Library, all you have to to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab where we've provided a link or the easiest way, and we put it right there for you. Scan that QR code on your screen. Linda, thank you very much. Yes, Appreciate thanks it. for having me. All right, still ahead. These authentic Mexican recipes have been passed down for generations, and this local cookbook author cracks open the book and makes one of these special recipes just for us. 
enjoying your grandmother's recipes. Well, of course, passing them down generation to generation. But how about putting them in a cookbook? That's what you see there, Fiesta in the Kitchen. I have Paola Lloyd joining me now. That's her daughter as well. And you guys right. combine some of your recipes with your grandmother's recipes. That's amazing. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. So tell me about your grandmother's recipes. So my grandmother was a great cook. And my mother always said, oh, I need to give you your grandmother's cookbook. You're the only one in our family that likes to cook. And so when the pandemic hit and everybody cleaned out every closet, I finally got my hands on the book. And my daughter and I started remaking all the recipes, that the ones that I remember having as a kid. Mm -hmm. And then we were doing so much cooking that we decided, wait, if we add our own family, everyone's favorite recipes, we could actually have a cookbook. And the initial intention was never to publish the book. Mm -hmm. It was just going to be a gift for our family. As people were talking to us and we would say, oh, this is what we've been up to, they were like, wait, we want one. And so we ended up publishing it and printing it here in San Antonio. And we, we now have a cookbook. And now you're on the show to share some recipes. Tell me about what we're making here. So this is a perfect holiday cocktail. It's a spiced, spiked iced tea. Mm. And so it has all the flavors of fall and winter. And you're going to start with 10 cups of water. Okay. And to that, you're going to add three cups of cranberry juice. And you want to make sure that this is pure cranberry juice, not the juice cocktail that's very sweet. This is actually pretty tart. Good clarification there. <laughs> and then we're going to, because you want to sweeten it, we're going to sweeten it ourselves. So you're going to add one cup of sugar. And then to that, we're going to flavor it with three cinnamon sticks mm -hmm. and one teaspoon of cloves and then a quarter of a cup of lemon juice. Ooh, all those flavors. All those right. flavors, the flavors of holidays. Mm -hmm. And you're going to bring this to a boil okay. and then you're going to lower your heat and you're going to let it simmer for 10 minutes. Okay. Once it's been simmering for 10 minutes, then you're going to add your tea bags. Okay. And these are four family size, just black tea bags. And I usually just hang the label over the side and cover it. And you're going to let that steep for another 10 minutes. Okay. 10 minutes and then another 10 minutes. 10 minutes and another 10 minutes. And so then we're going to move down here. We have one right here that has already been strained into the pitcher and cooled. Okay. And now we're going to add our last ingredient, which is one cup of orange juice. So orange juice is last. After orange juice is last. Look at that. Looks and so, so that goes in and it's the perfect color too yeah. for the holidays. You're going to give that a quick stir. And at this point, I would taste it because I don't wrote the recipe not very sweet, mm -hmm. but if some people like more sweetness at this point, you can add some simple syrup. Okay. And then you're really ready to serve your cocktail. Enjoy it. So we have two glasses of ice and I like to use the spiced rum okay. in the cocktail. So you can so add I, that I first, so <laughs> a little or a lot, your preference. That's a perfect amount. And then we're going to add the tea. And you can also add some cranberries to this and then some more cinnamon sticks to, to That's right, to garnish it and make it holiday. And this perfect. can be the perfect, we're going to add two cinnamon sticks here and two lemon wedges and then a so sprig pretty. of mint. And there you have, this could be the signature drink at your next holiday party. Beautiful. Thank so you. So let me share that with you. Cheers. And cheers. Uh, Arriba. Yeah. Yes. And this recipe is in the book here, Fiesta in the Kitchen. Now, later in the show, we are going to do another recipe, which is the marinated shrimp. The marinated shrimp. So stick around. Oh, we're going to try this. All right. Right now, here are your answers to our question of the day. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Yes, Sarah, Christmas Lampoon, National Lampoon, Christmas Vacation. I was thinking of the lines in the movie. <laughs> and Desiree says, How the Grinch Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey Never Gets Old. A Year Without Santa Claus, my favorite movie. It doesn't seem like Christmas without it.
USA Live. Look at those gorgeous festive drinks. Yes, earlier we made those. Paola Lloyd with Fiesta in the Kitchen is with me, and those are some delicious, what was it, a spiked iced tea? Yes. Festive and so delicious. Now we are going to try out another recipe from your cookbook. What are we making next? So this is a marinated shrimp recipe and truly a family favorite of ours. We have it every Christmas Eve and Easter, and every time I make it, it's a huge hit, and people want the recipe, which is in our book. Ooh, okay. So you're going to start with some shrimp, and you really want to buy fresh shrimp because they really make all the difference. And I just usually buy one of these shrimp boil, crab boil packets and follow the directions on the box. Perfect. And they turn out great every time. So once your shrimp is cooked, you're going to let those set aside for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start with one half cup of canola oil. And to that, you're going to add seven garlic cloves, which we've already done. But you want the garlic just to flavor your oil. You're not going to use the garlic in the recipe, but you want it to flavor the oil. So once the garlic turn a golden brown color, like you see uh -huh. here, okay. you're going to take them out. And that leaves it nice and flavorful. And that leaves it flavorful. Mm -hmm. Perfect. To this, you're going to add two cups of thinly sliced mm -hmm. onions. And this seems like a lot of onions, but they really cook down a lot. Okay. And you're going to let those get translucent and that's going to take about five, seven, ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Just about. Okay. Of course, with the magic of TV, we have yeah, translucent yes. onions over here. And you want to pour those into your dish that you're going to use to mm -hmm. serve your shrimp. Mm -hmm. And you're going to create a bed for your shrimp. And when you lift out the onions, we're going to switch pans here. Mm -hmm. You are going to want to leave as much of that oil that you used to cook the onions in, in your pan. Okay, that's because that's going to be for your next step in okay. the recipe. And while you let that oil cook, you are going to pour your shrimp over your bed of onions. I'm already intrigued by this recipe. I so know. It's onions, a, I can smell the flavor. It's mm -hmm. very unusual, but it just is such a flavorful dish. And, and always a hit, like you said. Perfect <laughs> for the holidays because you can make it ahead of time and you don't have to be scrambling right before your guests arrive, which is perfect. Always nice. <laughs> always nice. So once your shrimp are in here mm -hmm. and your oil has had a chance to cool, mm -hmm. You're going to flavor this oil further. So we're going to add one cup of water. Okay. And that's why you want to let it cool so that that doesn't splatter on yes, you. Yes, that's important. And then you're going to add a half a cup of vi vinegar, white wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. And you're going to add two bay leaves. Mm -hmm. And you're going to add half a teaspoon of dried thyme, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, and 10 peppercorns. And this is going to come to a boil. Okay. And then you're going to let it boil for five minutes, which seems like a really long Long time, but you're wanting all those spices mm -hmm. to flavor your oil. Okay. So we're gonna give that a quick stir, and once it's boiled for five minutes, you're gonna take the entire contents of your pan mm -hmm. and you're gonna pour it over your shrimp. Okay. And again, it's all about the flavor, the seasoning. And it's all about the mm -hmm. flavor. And you can go ahead and drop your bay leaves in there. They'll okay. continue to flavor your dish. You can pull those out at the last minute. And the next And one. then the very last ingredient, if you want to add that, is a can of sliced pickled jalapenos. Mm. And that seems like a lot of heat, but it's really not. They're pickled and they're pretty mild, but they're going to impart even more flavor mm. to your shrimp. And so once you have that done, you're finished with your dish. Right. You're going to cover it. You're going to let it sit overnight and it's ready, ready to serve to whenever your party guests arrive. So where can people find the book? So you can get the book on our website, mm -hmm. fiestainthekitchen.com. Mm -hmm. And it's a perfect gift for the holidays. We have a couple of items here that you see. Some, if you want to pair it as a more substantial gift with something else. Yes, and we also some, have group classes. And we do. We're offering small group classes. Uh, so if you want to learn how to make any of our dishes, we do a full menu per class, and you get to eat what we've made during yes. the class. Perfect. All right. Well, Paola, thank you so much. Be sure to look out for the book. We have a link on our website, salive.com. Just click the S seen on SA Live tab or scan the QR code on your screen. And I know a few stores, Rancho Diaz, I know also. Rancho Diaz carries it, it. Mm -hmm. and Memory Lane Perfect. in Alamo Heights carries it. There's a couple of stores. Okay. And follow them and maybe sign up for a class. Paola, thank you so much for sharing these recipes. Thank you so much for having me.
Next on the show, tis the season for holiday scams. We share tips on how you can protect yourself from scammers. Welcome back to SA Live. Did you know that the entire gift giving process from buying gifts to giving them and sending them can be stolen by a Grinch, better known as a scammer? And that's according to a report by the AARP Fraud Watch Network. Of course, the AARP San Antonio is doing its part to keep everyone informed about all these potential scams. And here with some tips to protect yourself and your family is Ismail Herrera, who is the Associate State Director for Outreach and Advocacy with AARP. Welcome, sir. Okay. We hear a lot about scams and they seem to really kind of come to fruition at this time of year. But what happens during the holidays that makes people that much more vulnerable? The holiday season has, uh, you know, it brings out a lot of generosity in people. It brings in a lot of gift giving. And this really creates an opportunity for scammers to try to take your hard earned money. Uh, but luckily, there's ways consumers can protect themselves. And AARP has resources, we have some tips and even a shredding event coming up this weekend for them. Okay, a couple of the tips, and I didn't know this one before we talked about it, but we've got them uh, coming up on screen here. What are these uh, these couple of tips that you have? So one of the things that we see a lot is uh, during the season is the uh, drained gift card scam. Mm -hmm. um, folks, scammers will go into the stores, take cards, uh, remove the protective film, take the pin, and when you go and load money into gift cards, they'll drain them. And folks sometimes don't even know that they're the victim of these crimes. Um, what we recommend is going and buying a the gift card from the retailer's websites that you want to get the gift cards from. That way you get a gift card that hasn't been sitting at a store for too long. If you do buy it in person, make sure you check for any anything happening with the card. Make sure that it's not tampered with and okay. make sure to keep receipts. Okay. Because yeah, because you, you all of a sudden you could get that and it could be a, a blank card. Wait, I put money on there and they've already taken it. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, what's the, the second tip that you and have? The other tip that we have is Right now, during the holiday season, there's a lot of online shopping. I know I do a lot of my shopping online. Um, and there can be links that you know advertise things that seem too good to be true, uh, low prices, and you click them and you want to buy them. But that can also lead you to a scammer's fake site where you put in your information and they take money away from you or they take your information and it becomes compromised. The best thing to do is to go to a retailer's website where you're buying uh, specifically from that retailer's website. That way you know that you're buying from them. I know a lot of times on Facebook, it's like, hey, get these, you know, great, at this, you know, and for these discounts, it's like, ooh, yeah. no. Nah. So just yeah. do it yourself, go right there. It's exactly, like, look for the retailer's website. Okay, now, shredding paperwork. I know a lot of things are done online, but a lot of times you get those offers for, for deals, for credit card offers, things like that. Shred all those, right? And you've yes. got a big event. Yes, actually. Uh, this Saturday at Nelson Wolf Stadium, AARP is hosting a free shred day for the community. Uh, this event is, uh, like I said, free for anyone. You do not have to be an AARP member. Uh, just bring up to three boxes. We'll, uh, we ask that you register with us beforehand, if possible, just so that we know how many people are joining us. Uh, but this event is free. So these are for maybe old tax documents or things that you have stuffed in a closet, stuffed in the attic somewhere that you don't want to sit there with your home shredder and go through and all that, but do not yeah. throw that stuff away because folks can get a hold of all sorts of information, right? Yeah, all your import, important information, all your uh, ident identifying information might be on these documents. Okay, what else should folks know? Uh, we asked folks uh, that if you want to learn more about how to protect yourself, these are just some of the things that, that happen, but there's a lot more that happens with folks trying to, to scam you and, and, and take your money. So we asked folks to uh, visit our uh, AARP Fraud Watch Network. We have all kinds of resources. We have information, uh, and you can just keep up to date what's happening. We even have a hotline. If you have been scammed or think you may have been scammed, you call this hotline, and they'll give you details on, on what are the next steps for you. Okay, and you said if something gets your emotions going, that's when you should, yes. the red flag should go up. So register for the AARP Holiday Shred event online. Just scan the QR code on your screen to go to that website. Happening this Saturday, 9 to noon at Wolf Stadium on Highway 90. You don't have to be an AARP member to go there, but you do have to register. Make sure you stay informed. Call the AARP Fraud Watch Hotline, 877-908-3360. Visit aarp.org slash fraud watch network for free information and resources. Great information. Smile. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas, sir. All right, earlier we asked you, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Scan my QR code.
got to watch It's a Wonderful Life. Aww. I don't want any ground floors. I don't want any plastics. And I'm going to get married ever. Do you understand me? Oh, Mary, Mary. Oh, let's That's see if you can do that for every movie. Okay. Okay, Valerie, Santa Claus with Tim Allen. Oh, gosh, I haven't seen that enough. Mm -hmm. That's one of the lines from the movie, so. Okay. Okay. Jesslyn says, my favorite Christmas movie is Elf. It's the best Christmas movie ever created. That is very good. Santa, I know him. I know him. Oh, yes. Him. <laughs> a Christmas story. Fragile. <laughs> yes. <gasps> From Robert Home Alone. <laughs> ah! <laughs>